motherfuckers better know. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> Get no dirty slip, man. He's up and running now, right? Lock your windows, close your doors. <laughs> now, Swift, um, 2006, California, you were in like a serious, serious motorcycle accident, right? Um, seven hours of reconstructive spinal surgery, all right? Oh, brother. Now, I remember when I heard that, because I was at Atlantic during that time, like that, that like hit the building kind of hard, man. Um, what, from that accident, do you, do you remember anything, like what was going on in your mind during that time? I remember, um, you know, going to the hospital and you kind of forget about who you are or what is it you do. You're just thinking about, damn, I, I broke my back. You know what I mean? I don't even know what that means. They're telling me I broke my back. They got to do surgery. I'm like, am I going to be paralyzed? I didn't, you got, you got all these questions. And then two days into it, you know, I didn't tell nobody I was in the hospital. I was kind of just, you know, like out, you know, on morphine or whatever. And then all hip hop. Mm -hmm. puts the puts the news blast out and the picture goes out on the internet and next thing I know the the switchboard is exploding at the at the hospital and that's when it kind of hit me like what really happened and all the people that was concerned and reaching out it was a little overwhelming like oh, they, yeah. they actually had to shut the the switchboard down at the hospital well let me ask you today how long did it get you know after this of course after the surgery how long did it give you know you guys get back together and regroup how long did it take for you to get back on your feet i mean you know bruce came out as soon as i got out of the hospital and um you know, it was a little rough for the first three months. I was in a, a brace, and um, you know, the, there's a lot of improvement in the first three months. And now I'm in like I'm around 80 percent now. Okay. It's, that last 20 percent is going to be a struggle, but uh -huh. you know, at least I can do what I got to do, and I feel blessed that I'm not in a wheelchair. Yeah, brother, you definitely are blessed, man. You know, and that was one of the main things. Like I knew, when I knew I was coming here today. I knew I was going to talk to you about that because seven hours of surgery, you went through a lot of stuff. Yeah, brother. I did, and I got like you know, I mean, you know, I look at. And what was inspiring to me is looking at what 50 Cent went through and, you know, Kanye and, mm -hmm. and having the jaw shut. And I got, you know, all this metal on my back now and, and implants and stuff. And it's like, you see how people overcome these things. And, you know, I'm just blessed I'm not like Christopher Reeve right now. You yeah, know man, I hear that, man. Definitely. Well, you definitely guys came out, came out the gate strong in 07 because we were talking about the whole Fantasia record. And like I said, it's blowing up the airwaves throughout the 50, um, throughout the 50 states. The remix is kind of crazy, too. I can't, I can't divulge. <laughs> Wait, you, you ain't got a little something over here? <laughs> All right. Well, not only that, but you also did a track for Jennifer Lopez's upcoming English album, too, right? Yeah, that, that's coming next. Um, Middle Summer, you, you hear, we got the first single on that. It's a crazy record. Um, Jennifer's really coming back. Everybody's going to love J-Lo again. You know, maybe we all can, like, you know, like, um, this is kind of like on the album on the 6 times 10. You know okay, what I mean? Okay. So it's gonna really take it there. Well, you know what, guys? Like I said, I did the I did the math and I did the studies. You guys, not only are you, so we said 12 million on the 50 record, but overall, all right, and you, I'm probably wrong on this one too. 25 million albums sold, yeah. right? We're talking artists like um, the whole G Unit, Definitely. okay? Yeah, we did um, on the G Unit album, we love, uh, Young Buck, Bow Chow. We were in the last, the latest Lloyd Banks album that just came out. Um, I can't remember the name of that record. It happened so fast. All right, well, I know you guys also did work with Nelly. Nelly, we yeah, get you, get you. Uh, Sweat album. On the Sweat album, We did a couple okay. million, and we did um, West Side Connection, which went platinum. Mm -hmm. We did um, Quali. Talib, Quali, of course, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. So, um, am I forgetting anybody else? That was just off the top of the head. Yeah, I've, i got to look at the list sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, damn, this you know, one we, thing, you know, one thing that everybody knows, we've, we've done records with Gene Gray. Um, we've done records. Um, like, we just did a record now for Ali Vegas. He's coming back out. Like, even though we out there and we hustling the R&B and the pop and the rap, it's like everything is always about money for us. It's like we got a lot of strong relationships and some things are, are bigger than that. Like, you know, um, when we first started out, Mike Brinkley gave us a lot of love in regards to working with Nas and everybody and getting with the Bravehearts at that time. And, like, you know, he, he's working with Ali. He was like, hit us out. We just gave him a record. You know, it's not – everything isn't always about finances. It's, it's about just staying in the game. Well, is there anybody in the game right now that, you know, you guys haven't worked with that, that you would like to work with someday? <sighs> Me and Swift talk about bringing Jay out of retirement. But, yeah, somebody else did that. <laughs> okay. I would right. say uh, Snoop. I'm a, I mean – I've been, we've been trying to work with Snoop, so as somebody we're a huge fan of Snoop. All right, well, I'm sure, I'm sure that's in the works as we speak. You know maybe what I'm saying? Maybe one of them, you know, them, them tracks may be coming out on that Dr. Dre album. Are you talking about the Chronic album? Yeah, I mean, you know, we did a couple of years ago. I, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, we, we end up on that one. That, you know what, man? I, I'm hoping I see you guys on the Detox album, too. That would be huge, man. All right, um, well, listen, guys, I really appreciate you, you know, let me come in here and speak with you guys real quick though because like i remember you remember me from my atlantic days and you guys you guys got this thing called um and i hope i'm saying it right it's called 
pega. It's a Spanish term. And it's basically, um, you know, I see you come in all the time with your suitcase. And you, you know, going into somebody's office, hoping somebody would hear you, right? Am I right? And every morning you would see me and you'd be like, yo, such and such here, and such and such here. And I always knew, I always knew that, you know, it was something about you guys that, you know, you guys are going to make it, man. And, um, I wish you guys all the luck in the world, man. You guys are really, really good dudes, man. Yeah, the good guys don't always finish last. You know what I mean? They always don't finish last. And you know what? Congratulations to you, man. Rock, T- Rock Me TV is like really, really hot right now. I remember when we was doing the Celebrity Spades game. And he was like, yo, it's a new channel. We're going to do this, da da da, whatever. I'm getting all these email blasts. I'm like, yo, these guys are popping. I got to get on this. <laughs> they were telling me about this for a couple, a, couple of, a couple of months ago. We got to get on this. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm glad you ain't yelling at me for all the email blasts I sent out. I got a couple of emails that I can't really talk about. But um, any, any, anything that you guys want to plug in? You know what? Where could the people find you? I know you guys got the whole MySpace thing. Why don't you go definitely, plug that? Definitely, definitely. And I'm coming okay. Just, just like that, he just walks up in here. It's right. all good. It's all family here. Yeah, My man Chris Styles, Dangerous LLC. What's going on? On, brother, I right, good. Okay, okay. Just like that. You see, I just pops off, Brian. <laughs> so why don't you go ahead and do the whole MySpace thing? You know, plug it in. Yo, definitely, definitely check us up at myspace.com forward slash MIDI Mafia M I D I M A F I A. We got um, um, MIDI Mafia online, which is our official site. Okay, MIDI oh, Mafia online. Right there goes, there goes the artist Sheree. Congratulations, Miss. Okay. <laughs> Like I said, she just inked the deal with SRC Universal. Shout out to the boys, Gabby, Ike Shula. Ike got a real good team over there. So I know they're definitely going to push that project. People are coming in as we speak. It's your boy, Gemini Keys. And I'm hanging out with Mitty Mafia. Mafia? Mafia. <laughs> You're watching Rock Me TV. Don't. No, no, no. Don't shrink that screen. What's up? This your girl, Sheree. And you're watching Rock Me TV. Don't shrink that screen.